Thomas, what are you expecting from Norwich tomorrow night? And have, have you any fresh injury concerns? Uh, no, no fresh uh, injury concerns. Uh, so the so Emiliano will be back and ready for selection. So that's the the good news. Uh, we will still have um, Shandon, Matt, Roslev, Pontus, Christian. Anyone else? I don't think no. Uh, out um, for this game. Uh, Norwich. Uh, I expect uh, hopefully a really good football game between two sides that want to attack and want to dominate on the ball. Um, so it'll, I think it'll be like a, a boxing match where, you know, try to take initiative and then one team needs to defend very well and then the other one, you know, go back and, you, you know, you go back and forth and um, throughout 90 plus minutes. Um, I think that Norwich you know, I like what they show at the club. They're very consistent in in, um, in what they do. It, it looks like they look exactly like themselves two years ago and how they look in the Premier League. They have a clear, defined style of play and um, they're not compromising on that. And I think that's a big strength. And I think that's why they have a, a very good chance to, to compete for, for promotion this year. Uh, and I expect a very tough, tough test. Um, I know we'll be up for it. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking looking forward to it. And Thomas, what about your own team? How does this squad compare to the one that came so close to the Premier League last season? What have you seen in the early stages of, of this season? No, I think we, I think we have a good squad. I think we have a good team. Um, I also think for a little, little bit, everyone would have injuries to some of their key players throughout the season. So that just a, that's a, a how can you say? That's the way it is. We just need to deal with it. Uh, everyone would have have that uh, throughout the season. So of course we would prefer to have Christian, especially Pontus, uh, in the team to to key key players. But um, but if you look away from that and then look at our first seven games, I think we overall have performed relatively good. I think there's been two two off days, if you can call that, against Preston and um, and Stoke. The rest have been fine, good, or up there. But you can also see that I think we, we, uh, which I think is natural, uh, still have a level or two to to improve in terms of tempo, rhythm, and fluid, fluidity, fluidity, fluidity. That was difficult to say. <laughs> uh, and really control the games and dominate the games. Uh, in more minutes than we have done so far. So instead of let's say we do it good two minutes, uh, sorry, ten minutes there and ten minutes there, and ten, then we need to do it closer to forty-five to sixty minutes per match, and that's what we are we're striving against and towards. In Ivan Tony, you have the the championship's top scorer, and he was signed at a, a fraction of the price that the club sold Ollie Watkins for. Is that is that? Further belief in the in the system you have there is that um, you know that that's scouting network that transfer approach uh, is that further belief in that system? Yeah, I think we I think we have proved to have um, as you say good good recruitment strategy, good um, good structure organization in terms of how we we um, recruit play, players to to the club to the team, so we know they fit the role, um, and we are confident that we when we sign a player that we. We think he will um, help the team and get more or less hopefully go as, as close to, to straight in, uh, just like Ivan, Ivan did. Uh, I still think there is more to come from him and I'm very pleased with his goals and very pleased with his link-up play. Um, but but there's still bits that he, he needs to work on. Um, and I think over time, I think you can see that the players we are bringing in, they, 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 they fit the, the way we, we want to play and the way we want to do things. And another young uh, young striker giving you some uh, selection headaches at the moment. Marcus Force scored another two goals at the weekend. Do, do you envisage those two playing together? At, you know, on a lot on a regular basis this season, or do, does the system not allow that? I think it's one of those where I think I'm when I've been here. My my most go to system has been the four three three. But also showed that we can play three four three. Uh, we changed that two years ago, and 
and started last season with that 3-4-3. So those, I think, are the two system I prefer. But I'm not, you know, rigid or, you know, in any way, if I, if I, I want to play a specific brand of football where we dominate the ball and try to press as high and aggressive forward. Uh, but you can do that in many types of systems. Um, and if we have the best players in a specific system, I will always, over time, look into that if I feel that will benefit the team. But, but I think like we already um, seen a few times, uh, I can definitely go to that uh, throughout the game. We did that against uh, Birmingham, we did it against Stoke. Uh, you never know if I do that um, um, uh, starting the game. Uh, but it's just a privilege to have two good strikers that, um, that can help the team. Uh, and just a final one for me, it's, it's just about fans again, obviously still no fans in grounds, but what have you made about uh, of the fact that some clubs, including Brentford and Norwich, have allowed supporters in to, to watch on screens at the stadium when the game is being played? Uh, I, know, I know your game was an away game, but Norwich certainly did it for one of their home games. What have you made of that? No, I think as long as we, we stick to the rules, which we, we are, um, in terms of uh, the, the COVID restrictions, I think it's good to, to just try to find a solution where we can get fans closer to, to the team and to the club. All of us benefit from it. Uh, we need the fans. The fans need us. Uh, we are, we are uh, closely linked. Um, so, so I think it's good and I think it shows that we, it's, it's possible. And I really hope that I know we are in a world pandemic and, and, it, and it's not good in terms of all the, the rising in, in, in the cases. But, but I think it's, it's proven that having um, fans outside um, it's not the, the biggest issue. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, Thomas. Hi, Emma. Hi. Um, you, you said you had an off day against Stoke. I guess maybe it was an off 50 minutes or so. Um, does that make it easier as a manager for you to deal with than anything that would be a, a larger cause for concern? Oh, yeah, definitely. Of course, I think we are all affected of... Um, the, the result of the of the last game, uh, either positive or, or negative, and I think it's very important to take the emotions out of it and try to analyze uh, the game through. Um, and then you need to see the, uh, um, a period of time uh, before you think you have something really good in terms of consistent, consistently good or top performances, or you see you know bad performances where you can see okay now we may be on the wrong path. Um, and I think it was, um, and again, we need to look at how many chances are we giving away. We're giving very few chances away again. We just, for various reasons, didn't defend it well enough collectively or individually in, in three situations. And then um, it was difficult, it was a mountain to climb. And I think we did well coming back in the game in, in, in second half. So I'm, I'm fairly, fairly... Um, uh, how can I say calm in terms of that? I think we played two game, good games against Coventry and, and Sheffield Wednesday after, which I'm pleased with. And I think there's not many teams that will score two goals against uh, Stoke and, and coming that close uh, after being 3 0 down. You do get the chance to respond very quickly because of the game against Norwich, but you are coming up against a team who are in very good form at the moment. Yeah, um, I think. I think Norwich is a is a top team in in this division. Um, they just, you know, we all know that got relegated from the Premier League. Um, I think they kept the manager. They kept the uh, main part of the players from for, from two years ago. Um, they are in a, they are in a good place. Defined style of play. They want to dominate uh, on the ball. They want to create chances. Uh, they want to play forward. Um, and I think honestly, it's going to be a. Uh, a game against two teams that want to dominate on the ball, that want to press. Um, so I'm really looking forward to to, to this challenge. Uh, uh, but we know it's going to be another tough one. But we um, we are ready um, uh, for the game. I understand it's a hundred games now that you've been in charge. Is that right? The Stoke game was your hundred. I don't know that. Is it? Was it? Okay. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, congratulations for that. Um, yeah. Thank you. Does it feel like it's been a hundred games that you've been in charge of Brentford? Um, mm, no, I think uh, time's flying, um, especially when you're enjoying your, your, your job and um, your daily work um, in this fantastic club with a, a un unique group of players and staff. So no, it's flying way too fast the time. I'm, 
I, I will guess which game you would probably like to have won that you didn't in that 100 games. That, that, that would have been the game at Wembley. Ah, uh, that I wanted... I'm assuming... Yeah. yeah. The, the one game that I wanted to win of the game we lost, or, or... Yes. Yeah, yeah. If I could pick one, I'll pick that one. <laughs> but you do have apparently the highest win percentage of any Brentford manager in his first 100 games. Does that mean anything because of maybe the games like that one against Fulham that you lost? Mm, I, I think... All managers want to do well, of course, in, in the club they are in. And of course, um, we all, I, I think, want to, how can you say, uh, set our stamp or, you know, create a bit of history. And uh, try to create a bit of history, you need to uh, win a lot of matches. And the more, the higher win percentage you, you can have, of course, that's obviously, obviously good. Uh, but it's it's not only down to me. I think uh, I try to do my job as, as good as possible, and uh, I think I do a decent job. <laughs> Other need to uh, judge judge that. Um, but it's with with some good players and a good staff that make us win a lot of matches. Um, but of course, I I hope uh, for the next hundred, um, the percentages will be even higher, and we created. Um, uh, a very big magical moment for, for Brentford.